In this video, I will show you how to take off the back cover of your POCO phone, such as POCO X3, X3 NFC and X3 Pro, such as I have here. So to do that process, we have to heat up the phone basically, and we only have to heat up these edges here. So we don't have to heat up the middle here, because all the glue layer is around here. And to do that, you can use several things. My personal preferred method is using a heat pad like this. This is not a professional heat pad like you have seen in other repair videos, but uh, you can purchase this uh, at a pharmacy. It costs around three dollars maybe, and it's like a hot water bottle. You fill it in with basically a boiling water and let it sit for around five minutes, so the glue softens up on this phone. Or you can also use a hair dryer or a heat gun. Again, make sure your hair dryer is powerful enough, such as I have here, or get a heat gun. And remove any attachments so you got concentrated stream of heat and then simply apply it to the sides of the phone for a couple of minutes till it becomes uh, basically warm and almost hot, but don't try to overdo because you can damage some internal eyes. Be very careful and use common sense really. And with a simple heating pad like this, you can see that we can apply quite a good temperature. It's very evenly distributed and it's actually perfect temperature for this process. So you don't really need expensive setup to do this. And for removing the frame itself uh, and the back cover, we can use a simple tool like, like a plastic card or this, or like a, a ruler that's very thin somewhere, so we can just get it somewhere. But it needs to be plastic, it can't be a metal, unless you cover maybe uh, a knife with a very thin knife with tape. But still, this has a possibility to mark the frame, so I don't really suggest this unless you don't have any other options, because it can scratch up the device. Okay, about 5 minutes has passed, and we can start to attempt to remove this. It's piping hot, basically. Then I really suggest to start at around here, to try to open it up. Don't start here, start around around the corner, around, around this side, and we simply need to wet wedge something inside and try to lift it up as careful as possible. Okay, so I managed to get the LED a bit open with this tool, obviously. Make sure you cover it properly with a tape that you can't pierce. As you see, I made a small dent at the side. So yeah, this is what you get if you don't have proper tools. Then we can take our card and insert it here and try to cut around this. There is a layer of glue, but you can simply slide it around here by lifting the frame carefully and keep sliding this plastic shim all around so you cut off all the glue layer and break it basically and continue doing this all around the frame basically till it lifts properly and all the glue has been broken basically okay see we're making some good progress here be simply very careful so and don't force this as much look around inside the frame to see how you need to open it and remember guys these are not professional tools i'm just showing what you can use what you got maybe laying around the house to do this job i really suggest to go to maybe to the chinese aliexpress sites and purchasing a toolkit for this, they are not very expensive, especially these opening tools. You can purchase a tiny set for like two or three dollars. So, but if you don't want to wait for a long time for them to arrive, you can use these methods I'm showing you. Go slow with it and make sure you don't damage anything. Okay, we managed to break all around and Okay, and this is what it looks inside, and we successfully opened the phone. So, we can see all the connections here, and it's using the regular small Phillips screws, I think. So, you, anyone can repair this phone very easily. And I would say this is one of the easiest phones to take apart, really, from pretty much all I have tested and used.